Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking what's new in Transformers. Heck yeah. Love talking about new stuff, and uh, don't have it in hand, just like chit-chat. So sit back and relax, and let's talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. Up first, as always, Adam Kiss, Adam Kiss, Adam Kiss for days, and DNA Designs got something new. This is DK53 Gear Master Accessories Series. This is for the Rise of the Beast uh, Studio Series uh, Wheeljack, Bumblebee, and Mirage. So Bumblebee is going to come with equipped with another uh, battle mask and a left-handed cannon, so he'll have the dual cannon like he did in the movie. Mirage will have a brand new design for his foot pads uh, for proportions and faithfully rec uh, recreating the single-hand cannon from the film and featuring complete transformation capabilities, so you can transform with it on. That's pretty cool. And I'll, also you'll get two additional thigh fillers for uh, uh, Mirage as well. And Wheeljack showcases his dual-hand cannon seen in the movie. Uh, for its combat pro you know process and everything the series is tailored to meet the needs of the uh, you know the uh, you know um, figures <laughs> golly couldn't get that out and making your collection truly unique so that's pretty cool so the uh, looks like they are going to be released in August of 2024 and a deadline right now pre-orders are up and so there you go DK53 from DNA Designs for Wheeljack Bumblebee and Mirage from uh, Rise of the Beast. All right, moving on to Third Party Legends and Dr. Woo 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 is giving us a pink Einstein. So this is their brains and uh, this will go with their pink uh, wheelie. I didn't get the pink wheelie, so I'll probably pass on this one, uh, but looking forward to the other ones. So there you go, Dr. Woo Woo Woo. Einstein or their brains is in pink and uh, I hope they do a you know a battle damage one. That'd be pretty cool, but there you go. And new from Iron Factory, we got shipping really soon, which I'm really excited for this. This is Chaos Blades. This is their Fallen. And I'm uh, finally going to get this one. Man, I've been waiting for this one. So there you go, man. Can't wait. Iron Factory Chaos Blaze. This is their Fallen. Man, hurry up and get my collection. And we got some in-hand picks of New Age Toys. This is H61F Amsterdam and H61B. This is Tekeli. I think it's Tekeli. Uh, this is their, you know, Sea Spray or Octopunch and their Shattered Glass Sea Spray. And I really can't wait for this. I think they are being, they're coming in stock at Show Z uh, pretty soon. So I'm really excited for that. So there you go. New Age in hand images of Amsterdam and Tequila, or their Shattered Glass uh, Sea Spray and Octo Punch. Looks really awesome. I can't wait to get my collection. Man, I love some New Age. All right, moving on to third party Masterpiece news. And we got new test shots of Ocular Math from MMC. This is PS24 in Certus. And uh, this is their groove. So yeah, really excited for this. I think their hotspot uh, might be coming out pretty soon. So really excited for that. And I'm glad they're moving along. So yeah, there you go. New test shots of MMC Ocular Max PS24. This is their groove and man, cannot wait to get this. And it looks like we got some new stuff from Kane Toys or they're reissuing or recoloring their uh, Predaking. King. Uh, this is they're gonna be in Evangelion. I think it's Evangelion colors. Uh, kind of like a purple and like it looks like a turquoise and everything so it looks like they're getting the um king lion and the Cerus. Uh this is their razor claw and one of the wolves you know one of the feet or whatever and it looks like it's going to be a lottery too as well so i guess they're going to be limited production and i don't know if they're getting the whole you know set uh, that just showed these two right now i'm um, sure they'll you know do the rest of them as well but they just showed these two off right now so yeah it looks like we're getting you know these you know recolors of the Predacons. Um, we got the gold one, we got the original one, and we got this one as well too. So pretty cool. So there you go. Kang Toys is giving us uh, some new, uh, you know, recolors of their uh, Predaking. All right, good stuff. Looks really purple. I like it. Purple nurple. Yeah, we got new picks of from Saba Era. This is C05. This is their Drift uh, from the Age of Extension, you know, Bayverse. And uh, we got some, uh, you know, just the uh, bot mode. Uh, I'm sure we'll get some later picks of the, uh, so use a triple changer. And uh, looks like you get two swords, you get two small swords, and it uh, looks like he can do the splits, and he can do the uh, Iron Man pose, so that's pretty cool. So there you go, Cyber Air, C0, I'm sorry, CE05, and this is their drift. All right, good stuff. All right, moving on to official Transformers news. It looks like Transformers AR card game by Vonch Studios to be released in the UK. So back in 2022, this was released in the Chinese market. Now they confirm the game will be released when it's first and national in the UK. Uh, looks like they uh, found the official listing of the AR game on the Game UK website. I'll put all this stuff um, in the description. 
uh, for the Autobot Premium Pack. The pack contains all the stuff and everything. I'll put that and everything. So pre-orders are live right now. It's supposed to be released of uh, December 4th of 2024. So pretty cool. So uh, Transformers AR card, get AR card Game by Vaunt Studios is going to be released in the UK. And it looks like the red line is still going on. So we got a prototype of the Transformer Prime Starscream. This is the RED line. Uh, they don't transform. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't like the red line, but I'm going to have to get this because I love Starscream. So yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, it looks like it comes with the blast effects and, you know, the wings come off and everything. So there you go. There's a prototype. Uh, this is on eBay as well if you want to get it. It's on uh, RAD Transformer Prime Starscream. All right, new listing is found. We've got Beyblade, Beyblade Collabs and an Origin Bumblebee reissue. So first up, the reissue of Origin Bumblebee and United Packaging should be available in Target later this year. So if you missed out on that, since, you know, the Wheel Jack's coming out, you know, already as well, uh, you might want to get that to uh, team them up with Jazz. And then also it looks like we got a collab with Beyblades. So it looks like next up, it looks like we're going to have a physical product of Transformers themed Beyblades. Uh, we've got Megatron and Starscream as one of the listings right now. So if you're into Beyblades and Transformers, here you go. So there you go. New, new listing found in Origins Bumblebee is reissued. And speaking of reissues, it looks like Studio Series 38 Bumblebee Movie Prime is going to be reissued as well. So another run of Studio Series Movie Optimus Prime is being made available as an exclusive via GameStop. Uh, you can also find it on uh, the channel or the uh, via fan channel of, of Canada. If you missed them the first go around, here's your chance to get that. Uh, retail is going to be about $35 and it should be available in summer of 2024. So there you go, reissue of Studio Series 38 Bumblebee Movie Prime. All right, looks like we're getting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers collab. All right, so this was found on Amazon. So Transformer robots have always been around more than meets the eyes, and now fans can experience Transformer characters matched up with iconic characters who share the same quality. So you get the uh, Transformers in uh, collaboration with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles X. Uh, get the party started with a van as the main vehicle with the crime fighting turtle brothers it converts from a uh, vehicle to robot it's about seven inches tall as far as the figures convert and uh, they will uh, go between the party wagon mode and the robot mode in about 20 steps inspired by the party wagon as seen in the 1987 teenage mutant Ninja turtles cartoon uh, you convert the robot mode to uh, attach one or four different heads to create donatello michelangelo leonardo or Raphael. Uh, accessories will have two ninja swords, a bow staff, two nunchucks, two ninja sides and rotating belt buckles, and four swappable heads that attach in robot mode. Uh, they're going to be about, uh, like I said, seven inches tall. Uh, they're supposed to be released around July of this year, so that's pretty, you know, pretty quick and everything. So yeah, pretty cool. For me, uh, they kind of remind me of the GI Joe collab stuff they have, and they weren't that good at all. And uh, there's a lot of stuff on their backs and everything. So I'm probably going to pass on this one. I think they're $50, I think is what they was uh, for retail. Um, but, you know, I just don't know. They don't look that good to me. The, you know, the wagon looks pretty good. The alt mode looks really nice. But the bot mode, just, you got a lot of stuff on the back. And I don't know. It just looks like, it looks like it's not going to be fun. But, hey, if you like this kind of thing, hey, you win. That's all that matters. So there you go. Tra uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers are collabing. All right. And we got some more news about collabs. We got, looks like we got Star Wars and Knight Rider, which a lot of people have been wanting Knight Rider. So I'll probably definitely be getting that one with Kit. So it looks like it's going to be uh, the Gen, uh, Transformers Generation Project Knight, Transformers and Knight Rider collab. Looks like it's going to be released August 1st of 2024. It's going to be about $49.99. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then Star Wars. And uh, we've already had Star Wars before, so I'm hoping they do them a lot better than they did originally. But uh, they don't have any slate or any time they're going to be released. So... Uh, we'll see about that. So once I get some more information, we'll definitely put that out. But yeah, some more collab fi findings. We got Star Wars and Knight Rider with Transformers. All right. Can't wait to get that in my collection. And it looks like we got some new Wave 1 breakdowns for 2025 Generation Prime and Studio Series. All right. So it looks like uh, the new trilogy for next year is going to be uh, Wave 1 is going to have, this is just, and take it with a grain of salt, this is just what they're, you know, just a, you know, a guess, I guess. I guess, I guess. Golly. Uh, you got Deluxe Animated Wasp, Deluxe Solace Prime, you got Deluxe Slingshot, Deluxe Air Raid, you got Voyager Prima, you got Voyager Automata Armada Red Alert, Leader Class G2 Grimlock, which I think that's going to be the blue version, and then Leader of the Fallen. Uh, this will kick off the line in April of 2025. And then Studio Series, we got Deluxe Transformers 3 Hatchet, Transformers 7 Double Punch, uh, Movie 6 Bumblebee Deluxe. We got Voyager uh, 7, uh, Transformer 7 Optimus Prime. Then we got Voyager of Warp Cybertron Skywarp. We got Leader Scale, uh, Leader Class 86 Galvatron. And then Leader Transformer 7 Ape Link. 
and that will also kick off in 2025. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I, I, I say take it with a grain of salt, but we've already heard about all this stuff, so it's definitely coming out. So yeah, I can't wait for 2025. We got a bunch of new stuff coming out. Man, golly, it's exciting to be a Transformer collector. Then next up, we got Transformers Lazy Nana versus Multipack Official Images and Pre-Orders. So they showed a couple pictures of this, and um, they talked about it on the stream yesterday, and I'll talk about that later on. But the pack contains a curious selection of figures from different universes. Um, this is going to be a Target exclusive as well. It's on pre-order right now. Uh, you got Cyberverse Tarn, which is a Legacy Tarn repaint, including a purple redeco of the Legacy Bludgeon Sword. Uh, you got G1 Squeeze Play, which a lot of people are excited for that. Titan Returns Mind Wife Retool, including a Master Force Browning Gun. That's awesome. And we got Transformers Prime Clip Jumper, which is a Legacy Chase Retool. And then Beast Wars Tarantulas. We got Kingdom Tarantulas Retool, inspired by the prototype seen in the first Beast Wars commercial. Uh, pre doors are live, on set, like I said, on Target for $79.99 with limited quantities on Hasbro Pulse. I think they already sold out on Pulse already. So, so get over to Target and try to get this four pack. Looks awesome. I have mine pre ordered. Can't wait to get this. So there you go. We got the Transformer Legacy United versus multi pack official images and pre orders. Man, can't wait for this. All right. So the Transformers team stream for week four of the month long stream fest has wrapped. Focus this week was on the pop culture items, collabs, and a bit of Space Bridge future releases. WonderCon is, WonderCon is this weekend with a panel plan to so stay tuned for even more of this weekend. So uh, we got to see some more stuff. Well, we got the uh, Silver Coin packs. We got the 40th anniversary G1 cartoon uh, score on vinyl. We got new art by Matt Ferguson. Uh, two new tracks, art inspired by opening sequence of the cartoon. So we got the collab figures, you know, the tra uh, TMT, TMNT Transformers we talked about already. Uh, the reissue in the Ectrotron, which is the Ghostbusters and uh, Transformers collab. That's pretty cool if you missed out on that. Really love the alt mode for that. Uh, we got the Shockwave shown uh, with the Studio Series comic packs. Uh, surprised they didn't show Grimlock as well, but um, that Shockwave looks pretty good. Definitely try and get that. We got the Legacy Target multi pack, which I talked about that. And then we got the Popline reveals, which we got the Bumblebee Sunstreaker, which he's already out. I did a review. If you don't mind, go watch it. Uh, War for Cybertron Sideswipe. We've seen him already. Uh, uh, Bumblebee Voyager Shockwave as well. I think he's out over in Australia, I think. And then finally, Finally, everybody excited for this. We're getting, you know, Studio Series 86 Swoop. I know everybody knows we was going to get them, but it's just been a while. Now, they didn't show anything. Hopefully later, they said later on, they will show this off a little more. So cannot wait for that. So yeah, overall, it was a good stream. Probably the best one out of the four. And uh, so yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. All right, last thing we're going to talk about, and I'm excited for this, possible first look at Transformers Masterpiece MP60 Jinra, or God Jinra. We call him Power Master Prime, and it looks like we get our first look at him and everything. Very blurry picture, so eventually we'll get some better ones. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be, appear to be released December of 2024, and is uh, going to be, you know, surprisingly, the figure does not come with a trailer. Hopefully that will come later and everything, which let me talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. Comes with his little Power Master and everything. It's got, looks like he's got two guns and everything. So really excited for this. So first possible look at MP60, God Jinra. And we got a pros, uh, first possible look at MPG09 Super Jinra. So they're doing the same thing they did with MP44. They're giving us one with a trailer and one without a trailer. Uh, so this is alternate version of the Toy Colors MP60 Jinra, uh, which we saw the other day. Comes in anime colors and includes a trailer. So we also translated the, you know, they showed off, they, they um, Google translated the version of this image as well. So it looks like it says Super Jinra, who played an active role in the TV anime series uh, Super God Master Force, is now available for the, as the ninth MPG uh, after the uh, train bots. A uh, product name is going to be MPG09 Super Jinra. Uh, Jinra's robot state, he is fully posable, allowing him to move his limbs. That's pretty cool. And I think he's going to be around, uh, supposed to be order, uh, supposed to be or you can order him and schedule to release late in December of 2024 as well. Uh, looks like the pre-orders are going to be up around April 10th or something like that. It looks like what it's saying. And it looks like it's going to be around $300 for this one. I don't know how much the other one's going to be. It's probably going to be cheaper since it doesn't have all the trailer and all that stuff. Uh, but this looks pretty cool. I'm definitely in for this one, the trailer. And it looks like it, you can do the base mode and everything. That looks pretty cool. It's like it comes with blast effects. So very nice. So I'm really excited for this. So yeah. We're getting two choices of MP0, I'm sorry, MP909 Super Jinra or MP60 Jinra, which is uh, Power Master Prime. So yeah, anybody excited for this? Which one are you gonna get? All right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And man, once again, jam-packed full of great stuff. Can't wait for that four pack. Definitely can't wait for the Super Jinra or the God Jinra. Cannot wait for that one. Which one y'all gonna get? Like I asked, are you gonna get the one without the trailer or one with the trailer? 
man, they both look pretty good. Uh, what'd y'all think of the stream? You know, what'd y'all think of the last one? Is it, is it pretty good? Better than I think the other ones. I wish they would have shown Swoop, but at least they're going to, you know, give us Swoop. So that's pretty cool. And uh, just a lot of good stuff. So it's a great time, once again, as always, to be a Transformer collector. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Are you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next What's New in Transformers. And always be good to yourself. Man, hail freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.